हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू आर यूट्यूब चैनल फॉर नर्सेस प्रिपरेशन आई एम नीरज कुमार कैथल दिस वीडियो कंटेन्स फ्यू इंपॉर्टेंट क्वेज फ्रॉम द टॉपिक फीटल सर्कुलेशन फीटल सर्कुलेशन इज अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक फॉर ऑल द एग्जाम्स आफ्टर वॉचिंग दिस कंप्लीट वीडियो एंड आंसरिंग द क्वेश्चन प्लीज राइट योर स्कोर्स इन द कमेंट सेक्शन बिलो Let's begin fetal circulation quiz. Question number 1. How many bypass channels are present in fetal circulation? Answer. Total 3 bypass channels are present in fetal circulation. These are ductus venosus, foramen of oval, ductus arteriosus. In adult circulation bypass channels are not present it is the major difference between the fetal and adult circulation friends you can download this videos pdf file its link available in description box next question give the name of remnant of umbilical arteries and umbilical veins answer umbilical artery remnant is median umbilical ligament and it is first closing umbilical veins remnant is known as ligamentum teres it is second closing remnant means the remnant of something are small parts of it that are left over when the main part has disappeared or been destroyed in fetal circulation blood is purified by which organ in fetal circulation blood is purified by placenta because in fetal circulation lungs are immature where in adult circulation blood is purified by lungs because at this time lungs are matured ductus arteriosus anatomical and physiological closings occur at which age the answer is physiological closing occurs at 5 minutes after birth of ductus arteriosus and anatomical closing of ductus arteriosus occurs before 3 months of age weight of placenta is approximately 500 grams remnant of foramen of oval is known as remnant of foramen of oval is known as fossa ovalis in fetal circulation first pure blood goes in option a liver option b lungs option c heart option d none of the above the right answer is option a in fetal circulation first pure blood goes in liver friends please click upon the like button thank you important let's revise blood flow chart in fetal circulation fetal circulation starts from placenta from placenta umbilical veins carries the oxygenated blood to the ductus venosus ductus venosus is a first bypass channel of fetal circulation from where blood is bypassed by the liver and reaches then in the ivc inferior vena cava inferior vena cava transfers the blood into the right atrium of heart from right atrium of heart two third blood transfers in the left atrium of heart and one third blood reaches in the right ventricle this one third blood by the ductus arteriosus reaches in the aorta ductus arteriosus is a second bypass channel that bypass the lungs 
टू थर्ड ब्लड दैट इज प्रेजेंट इन लेफ्ट एट्रियम देन रीचेस टू द लेफ्ट वेंट्रिकल एंड फ्रॉम हियर इट इज ट्रांसफर्ड इन एरोटा द ब्लड देन मूव इन थोरेसिक एरोटा देन इन एबडोमिनल एरोटा द एबडोमिनल अरोटा नाउ डिवाइडेड इन टू टू आर्टरीज एक्सटर्नल आइलियक आर्टरी एंड इंटरनल आइलियक आर्टरी द ब्लड रीचेज इन इंटरनल आइलियक आर्टरी फ्रॉम देयर द ब्लड इज ट्रांसफर्ड इन हाइपोगैस्ट्रिक आर्टरीज हाइपोगैस्ट्रिक आर्टरी फर्दर डिवाइड इन टू टू अम्लिकल आर्टरीज ब्लड रीचेज इन प्लेसेंटा बाय दिस two umbilical arteries from hypogastric arteries this is the complete blood flow chart of fetal circulation next important question remnant of ductus venosus is known as remnant of ductus venosus is known as ligamentum venosus next question purified blood from placenta to fetus is carried by which blood vessels and what is its saturation purified blood from the placenta to fetus is carried by umbilical veins and its saturation is about 80% what is the normal blood volume of placenta normal placenta blood volume is 500 ml next question ductus arteriosus remnant is known as the remnant of ductus arteriosus is known as ligamentum arteriosum next question what is the saturation of blood flowing in umbilical arteries the right answer is 50 to 60% saturation next anatomical and physiological closing of ductus venosus occurs at which age physiological closing of ductus venosus occur just 5 minutes after birth where anatomical closing of ductus venosus occurs 7 days after birth next which two structures connected by the bypass channel ductus venosus ductus venosus connects umbilical vein and inferior vena cava ductus venosus bypass liver next question anatomical and physiological closing of foramen of oval occurs at which age anatomical closing of foramen of oval occurs just 5 minutes after birth where physiological closing occurs after 1 year of birth which structures are connected by the foramen of oval foramen oval connects right atrium and left atrium next question how many blood vessels found in umbilical cord before 4 months of intrauterine life before 4 months of age total 4 blood vessels found in umbilical cord these are two umbilical veins and two umbilical arteries one important thing after 4 months of intrauterine life one umbilical vein that is right umbilical vein disappeared then total 3 blood vessels are present in umbilical cord these are one umbilical vein and two umbilical arteries ductus arteriosus connects which two structures friends this is the last question after watching this complete video please comment in comment box how many questions answer you know what is your score the right answer is ductus arteriosus connects pulmonary artery and descending part of aorta ductus arteriosus bypasses the lungs thank you so much for watching this complete video friends 
If you find this video is helpful then please click upon the like button, share this video with your friends and subscribe our YouTube channel for nurses preparation for more such interesting videos. All the best.